She must have been dripping from a Dripping. That butter dip had her on the yeah, ropes. Yeah, that aioli. We got <laughs> drapes. <laughs>Oh, where's that Nickelodeon? I think so. Yeah. Or maybe Cartoon Network? Maybe Cartoon Network. I think it's Cartoon Network. Network. Yeah, Cartoon Network. Is it yeah. for a specific show? No, I... Th it's, uh, no, I don't think so. I think it's for the I think it's when it, the, the, see, this, the Cartoon Network comes yeah. up. Yeah. I think it's Cartoon Network, maybe. Johnny Bravo is misogynistic, isn't it? Is that still about? It's not about. Nah, Cartoon Network's Cartoon Network's lock done. Oh, Cartoon Network's Network done. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did we speak we about, about that? We spoke about it last year. Cartoon Network's done last year. Oh, and then we did like, the throwbacks of yeah, all the shows and stuff yeah. like that. Bro, Cartoon Network was- It was the one. Wham! Yeah, yeah. You couldn't really get away from Cartoon Network. Nah, bro, Cartoon Network was it. And I only had it at my dad's house, I remember. <clears throat> so my voice is murk today. I only had it at my dad's house, so I would just binge it. Yeah. Binge Cartoon Network, bro. <laughs> And then especially like the new age stuff, mm. Adventure Time, regular yeah, show, yeah, Dumble. Yeah, yeah. Bro, those shows slap. I was more in the the retro times, like the early nineties. That was that was my bag, like Oh, like Powerpuff Girls. Powerpuff Girls, Cow and Chicken, Courage the Cowardly Cow Bloody Cow and Dog. Chicken, bro. Yeah, a Ren and Stimpy. I think that was Boomerang, maybe. Yeah, Ren and Stimpy was uh, um, Boomerang. Bro, Teen Titans went hard. Um <sighs> We Bear Bears. You ever watch We Bear Bears? Uh, no, but I know we Slaps. Still, yeah. Kid, Slaps. Codename Kids Next Door. Ed, Ed and Eddie was my bag. Ed and Eddie was, that was banging. Was my bag. Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy yeah, was banging. Bag. Clarence is lab. hard as well for now. Uncle Grandpa's weird, bro. Uncle, Uncle Grandpa, Grandpa, isn't that the guy that does... Um, I don't think I remember voice, that one. Whose voice is that? Um, it sounds like Patrick. Yeah, it might be. A lot like Patrick. It might be, it might be, it might be. Mm. I don't remember that one. Dexter's Lab was, was it. Um, uh, they um, they do do for that, everyone knows that. Bro. Foster's Home was heavy. I was... Um, Dexter's Lab, I used to love Dexter's Lab, bro. Mm. The, 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 um, the mum, what was the mum saying? Is it the, is, she, oh, no, I think I'm thinking of Cow and Chicken. She's got like the gloves and the, the apron. That's Cow and Chicken. Cow and Chicken, you, can, you can't see the top half of the Yeah, but I'm thinking about like, the body. She had like a, she was wearing gloves and had like a, a fatty. Oh, that's all I remember. Is it? That's yeah, all no, I yeah, remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. could, see, her face. Did, you could see the dad's face, I think. But you could never see the mum's face. I can't remember, oh, you know. Like you couldn't see the mum's. I know you couldn't but see the mum's for sure. But yeah, Dexter's mum. What did Dexter's mom look like again? I can't remember. Did she, was she- She, she had a bob. She had a ginger, ginger, ginger ting, ting, innit? Ginger yeah, she had a fatty as well, innit? She had some tigs on her as well, bro. I and remember, waist was, waist yeah, was like that. itty bitty. <laughs> yeah, it didn't make sense. Yeah. She had an hourglass, yeah, bro. Yeah, these man, I specialize her from young. Yeah, yeah. from jump, bro. <laughs> was she wearing heels as well? She had the boots. Yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. bro, <laughs> yeah, pull her up, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, she had a fat like, She like signing out at the Jetsons. Yeah, yeah, she had them heels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, damn. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Damn. <laughs> Dexter's mom was bodied up. Do you yeah, know who was, was bodied up, bro? True. The mayor's secretary in Powerpuff Girls. The mayor's, I don't remember. Oh my days. Bro, the mayor was a pervert. And that monocle. The mayor was a pervert, mm -hmm. bro. Oh, with this one with a big hair. Bellum, Miss Bellum. Miss Big Hair, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Miss, oh. <laughs> Miss Bellum? Yeah, bodied. Ay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, them things didn't make sense, bro. Bro. Come on, bro. Yeah, Miss Bellum was leng, fam. <laughs> Come on, bro. Miss Bellum <laughs> was leng, bro. <laughs> That's jokes. Yeah. That's jokes. What does that say? Doja Cat, Doja Cat Trust it to be Doja Cat. Let's see that, though. Wait. Oh, swear. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. It's given, it looks like Ice Spice a little. Yeah, Miss Bellum was banging, bro. Mm. Anyway, guys. Anyway, let's get uh, on with the episode. Let's go on with the episode and the question of the week, which I only realized today that I've done this question before, but we move. When's the most inappropriate time you've laughed uncontrollably? And I've got a handful of replies, so we run them. Um, <laughs> a special needs girl in my class punched a handler in the face over a pencil. Bro, bro. I mean, it's inappropriate time to it's laugh. Bro, a special needs girl. <laughs> it's, an, it's very Over inappropriate. Pencil. Yeah. I'm not dealing with that. Like, I remember the teacher's assistants helping with the special needs kids in my school. Mm. And it was just long, bro. I don't remember any of that, to be fair. It was just long, bro. Damn. It just seemed long. It does sound and seem long, to be fair. Yeah. 
uh, when my dad reached back whilst driving to choke me out because I was being loud and annoying. <laughs> Nah, to choke me yeah, out. Yeah, that's, that's scary stuff. And you were laughing uncontrollably. Yeah, no, no. My dad would have murdered me. He would have murdered us all of oh, us. Skirt, skirt. Yeah, Quick yeah, swerve. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. My dad threatened to kill us one time. I remember he opened the door on the motorway. He did what? Yeah. He, I th- I Whose can't... door? His door. His door to jump out. So the car would just. The car would have just <laughs> got done, done what it done. What? Yeah, he got his leg out like that and everything. No, I, was, he... I was like six. I was scared, What bro. happened, bro? Why, why, why the threat? We were f***ing around. I can't remember. Was you and your brother? Yeah, me and my brother. My, I remember my mum was in there as well. Mm. And everyone was f***ing around. And everyone was just f***ing him off. And I can't... I, obviously, I was young, young. I don't really remember what happened. <laughs> but I remember my dad was just... It was something along the lines of f***ing around and find out. Yeah. And then I just remember him. We were on the M1 or something. He just opened the door. Just opened the driver's side door and put his foot out. I'm on a, on a like, you man actually don't think I won't just jump out and fend for yourselves, bro. What? He, you man must have been pissed <laughs> off. Oh. <clears throat> My dad got pissed off easy. To well, contemplate easy, taking but... his own life from his family. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's unheard that's, of. That's uncharacteristic for my dad. So I'm assuming he was joking. Because <laughs> it's very out of character. Yeah. My mum would do that every Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say less. That's jokes. All right. Um, when's the most inappropriate time you've laughed uncontrollably? At my grandfather's funeral, my aunt tried to jump in the grave, but grave, and no one stopped her. Oh, Can you imagine, bruv? People need to chill. chill. Have you been to a funeral before? I've only been to one funeral. I think Same. I told you it was like two years ago. It was like my step granddad's funeral. Okay. And I remember telling you because. <laughs> <laughs> because what? it seemed boring. Oh, okay. He was just like I'm saying. Um, the when the people come up and speak about um, the life and stuff. Eulogies. Eulogies. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. eulogies. But uh, he was a lovely guy. Mm. Eulogies were boring. I swear. And I, all I remember thinking is my eulogies cannot bang like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. cannot <laughs> bang like this. Same I refuse way. for them to bang like this because yeah. this is. Boring me. Mm, mm. My friend, my close friends and family can't speak about my life like this. Yeah. This is boring me. All they're talking about is work and cricket. That's all they talk about. Oh God, that does sound <clears> boring. And his kids, fuck does. all of that. <laughs> Tell me the exciting stuff. Yeah, I think I've only, I think, I know I've only been to one funeral and that was probably in year, I think we were, I was in my second year of uni. It was my friend's dad that passed away. I think I remember talking about on here and he had like an open, he had an open-ish casket, no. like in a jar casket. Ish. It was a jar, bro. So it wasn't like, <laughs> the whole thing went off. I think it was one, one of them was that the lid is on, but it's slanted. So you can see the face. So you could just see the face. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, I remember walking Did around. Did you it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, we all had it. to like go in and go out to walk around. I, I remember going in, going around the casket, but I remember looking back at my boys to see what their reactions are of seeing the face and I nearly knocked the casket. I was petrified. And then I scurried out. That was my one and only um, funeral I've ever been Bro, to. Bro, nah, I'm not. Scurried out. I'm not trying to do it. I, I, I actually don't think I can handle an open casket. It's People seem to normalize it a yeah, little bit, yeah. but like that's a, that's a real yeah, dead person. Well, yeah, it's a lot. It's I a don't lot. think I can handle it. Same, bro. Same. I feel like I've done it once and it's, it was weird as hell. He was black? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did he look yeah. white? I don't really remember. I don't think so, but he did look a little bit paid and he was a big, tall guy. So he looked... He, you could tell he was deflated a little bit. It was- No, it was no, weird, no, bro. no, no. It was weird. Was no, like, no. He was like maybe 6'3". And Jesus, he was like a big tall. Guy, yeah. But he was. He didn't look the same. He just looked shriveled. A little bit. Nope. See, stuff like that. Yeah. Nah. Nah, yeah. especially if that was my dad. I couldn't have an open casket for my parents. I could never. I don't think, I wouldn't stomach it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't stomach, to, none of it. I wouldn't be able to stomach it at all. Anyway, let's move on. Yeah, yeah. Let's Facts. move on, it's getting very morbid. Um, Inappropriate time you laughed um, uncontrollably. Whilst my sister was getting baptized, the priest was stuttering while preaching. Damn. Mm, I don't know how priests do it. What, stutter in general? No, just, 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 just get just... through it without stuttering. Because sometimes they do it off the dome. Mm, mm, when they, especially mm. when they do like the, the especially these, these African style prayers, where you say amen like nine times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bro, practice, I guess. Yeah, fam. Practice. They've, they've been when you, doing when it. You just, when you just qualify as a priest, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Like, <laughs> your first shift. How do you run bars like that? <laughs> on your first shift. You practice yeah, in the mirror. On your first shift. <laughs> yeah, like, and how does everyone know when to say amen? 
I guess it's just built in, bro. Because I just get so awkward, you man. Let yeah. me just get into it. I don't know. I don't know how you man feel. <laughs> I don't know how you might feel yeah. when we're at gatherings yeah. and we're doing prayers yeah. and these men are like da 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 and then there's a sequence to it yeah. and it's like it goes long paragraph yeah. no one says shit mm. then there's a short little and praise us our lord da 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 yeah. and everyone's like amen, amen. and I'm like oh <laughs> yeah because my head's down and I'm like and then you're just like amen and I'm like, what <laughs> And you're like, oh, okay. And then 10 seconds, oh, da, 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 da. everyone's like, oh man. And you're like, the fuck? How do I you guess know? Just no, bro. How just, do they know? It's just instincts, I guess. I don't know. The I only don't way know how I would know it. is if they if it was America style, I was like, mm. can I get an amen? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the only time I'd know. <laughs> can I get an amen, bro? And then you say amen. Yeah, and then it's amen. But these men are just spitting yeah, and everyone's like, like, amen, amen. And then sometimes the it gets a bit rowdy. Yeah, yeah, And it's like, amen, 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 amen. Sometimes it gets rowdy, bro. And that's when the that's when the pastor's in his bag. Yeah. That's when the priest is in his bag. Yeah. When it's like, I'm a man, I'm a man, man. And he's just going yeah, everyone's like, I'm a man, I'm a man. And then when the aunties get the hankies out, he's in his bag. Yeah, when bro. they start speaking tongues. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he knows he's qualified that day. Yeah. He's qualified as a priest. And the voice that day. gets raspy. Yeah. Yeah, that's when everyone loses their shit. <laughs> that's yeah. joke. I didn't know there's a passage in the Bible okay. that goes like, as I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Mm -hmm. I just thought of Gangster's Paradise straight away. <laughs> yeah, there's- so Straight after it. <laughs> yeah, there's no way I'm sitting with a straight face and someone saying that. Literally. And then without, I take a look at my life and realize there's nothing left. <laughs> it's not vibing out in the middle yeah. of the church. Yeah. Cause I'll be in left and left for so long that if, if my, my mama thinks, thinks then my, my mind is gone. gone. <laughs> <laughs> That's Bro. jokes. That's jokes. Yeah. Um, all right, I got a few more. My friend's granddad's birthday. He blew out the candles and wished for no more birthdays. Oh God. <laughs> he was tired, bro. bro. He was tired. Um, at my auntie's funeral, she was too big for the casket. So they had her thrown on a table like a pig at a feast. The only thing that was missing was the apple in her mouth. Man. Nah, what kind of barbaric funeral is this? Man. That's you on a table. <laughs> Just spread out. Just, nah, bro. I can't pay my respects to that. And neither I can I. I'm not paying any respects to that. Respect her first and foremost before I pay my respects. Respect my family. Yeah. Wow. That That's her on a table. Like a pig at a feast. <laughs> That's descriptive, boy. Oh, dear. Oh, God. That's jokes. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, I was called to a meeting at my son's school because he body slammed another child. Damn. I lie. Uh, okay, a couple more. <laughs> when my dad got slapped by his 67 year old mother, I couldn't, That's... I couldn't see that. That's... I can't see my dad get slapped. Yeah, that will spin you. Yeah. Because like, where's the power? Yeah, 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 yeah. Who's really in control? Who's in charge? Yeah. <laughs> Cause you've been chatting shit to me. For years. Yeah. I've just seen you get slapped. Yeah, some frail old woman tumped you up. <laughs> Twice, back Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 Yeah, no, no. you can't talk to me like that anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Cause I would just call grammar on you. Facts. I'm just call, gonna call I grammar. I might as well smack you myself. <laughs> Cause you ain't gonna do shit yeah, to yeah, me. Clearly your Grammar's pussy. gonna handle you. Yeah, yeah. wow. All uh, right, last one. Uh, during sex, he busts hella quick and said, whose pussy is this? I laughed and said, clearly not yours. <sighs> Tough. That's really bad. And she laughed uncontrollably. Clearly not yours. And then proceeded just to just like- uh, Gut just, laugh. Yeah. And you know when you leave it in and they laugh and you can feel it, you can feel it on there. And because you're not hard anymore, it's just pushing it's your sliding, tool out. Just, yeah, it's just sliding your sloppy <laughs> tool out. And you're just like, stop, 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 And she laughs some more. Come oh, on, man. Oh God. Oh God. You already <laughs> know you're in the group chat. Yeah. Your world is crumbling. <clears throat> Your whole world is crumbling that day. And you can hear yourself in the group chat. And you're not in the close friends anymore. Definitely not. Definitely not. Yeah, but anyway, welcome to the show, guys. Welcome, guys. Short What's up, man? Your boys are here. Yes, sir. And um, we're back. I'm we're feeling juicy. It's tight. episode. Yeah, I, uh, I am. I, me and Rem just oh, took, yeah, you took, a little... took some um, stimulants. Mm, mm. And um, <clears throat> I'm buzzing. Yeah, it's just, we took some nootropics and. I'm feeling good, bro. I'm not feeling jittery mm. or anything like that or just itchy. Alert. I'm just feeling focused, bro. Good. I'm laser focused. Good. So guys, if you want to focus up as well, Ooh. head on over to patreon.com forward slash shits and gigs. And what we're going to do, right? <clears throat> so this is what it looks like. So you've got the whole world 
And then there's a tiny little section of the population that you zone in on. And then like, imagine like a space satellite telescope and it goes, and it goes to street view and only here is That's the camp. That's the camp, bro. That's, the camp. That's where we're at. And we're like, what's going on in there? And then they have to get other satellites down <laughs> to like, da, da, and there's a general somewhere and there's like, focus, focus. And it's- <laughs> Everyone's just vibing. Everyone's vibing. Good times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then all you can hear is just like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> And you're like, whoa. And you're like, and you're like what's going on? clap. Yeah, cheeks clapping. Like, what's going on in there? It's just, it's just the cult baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the, the, it's the cult baby fest. Exactly. That's and that's exactly 24 seven. Facts. And that's where you guys need to that's be. That's where you need to do. That's mm. where you need to be guys. So if mm. you want to be there, mm. cult baby fest 2024, head on over to patreon.com forward slash shiz and gigs and mm. donate three pound a month. 10p a day. Run the P to S and G and your cult daddies are going to pattern you. Facts. We're going to pattern you. Facts. And it's going to be tss, tss, all the all time. All year round. Yeah, all year round, 24 seven. It's just going to be vibes, bro. Yes, Before we set that up, if you want to prepare yourself, there's nearly like four years worth of content over there. You can binge, 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 and you can hop on the Discord channel and just chat. Just chat about all the fun shit we're going to do at Cold Baby Fest 2024. Let's have a good it's time. It's going to be a vibes. <clears throat> Apparently Charlie XEX is, is confirmed. Hey. Drake's a strong Marshmallow. Marshmallow's DJing. He's DJing. <clears throat> um Helmetless. Yeah, facts. Yeah, it's gonna be flipping sick. Drake's a strong maybe. Yeah, yeah. Brent might turn up. Brent is gonna turn up and just get toxic. <laughs> facts. He's gonna get toxic. <coughs> facts. <clears throat> it's gonna slap, guys. Yeah. So yeah, head on over there and get yourself patterned. Yes, um and guys. YouTube, obviously subscribe to the channel. Obviously. There's a million other people that did. Facts. Why didn't you? Facts. Ask yourself that question while pressing the red button. <laughs> Audio listeners, as always, we appreciate you. We love you. Thank you so, so, so much. And if you could please, please do us a simple, solid and leave a nice, nice review. That's all we ask. Leave a, leave a nice review. Five stars is obviously preferable, but whatever you say, say so it with your chest. chest. And that's the end of the introduction. Let's get into the competitive aspect of the show. Today, Ellis has put his foot down and said adamantly that I'm he winning. is gonna win today. So let's get on with top five. Top five, let's go everybody. Go grab away. your boards, grab your pens. Right guys, top five this week is, drum roll please. <laughs> top five most viewed YouTube videos ever. Oh. Okay. Hey, let's go with this. Let's go with this. Let's go. Oh, Obviously, as per, um, let me know when you've locked in. Um, yeah, I'll charge this one, but I'm gonna. I'm charging it a hundred percent. Valiant effort, of course. It's got to be one. I don't really know oh, YouTube yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ellis is calm. Get and I over love yourself. Bro. I like, love it. Bro. Ellis is calm and I love it. Do you want to relax a bit? <laughs> I am. Just a piece? Nah, he's on two points. He needs all the. He needs the bags. Yeah. Daddy, chill. Two more. Daddy, chill. <laughs> That's offensive. Daddy, oh, chill. That's offensive. Can I name creators, but I don't know the name of the video that they've dropped on YouTube? I mean, you can. You won't get the point. That wouldn't really make sense, would it? Nah, bro. Never mind. <clears throat> That's how how much I've charged this week. Yeah. Cool. Mr. Confident Ellis will go with you first. Okay. I lied. Bro, you better smack this. Go on then, bro. Okay, so, me at the zoo. I've never even heard of that. Just you wait. I know you're gonna win. Just you wait. <laughs> Just you wait, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Sneezing panda. Sneezing panda. Fair. Fair. Ouch, Charlie. I think it's called. Gangnam Style. That's a good one. Oh, actually, funny fact, Gangnam Style broke the record for how many views you can actually watch a YouTube video and they had to alter it. Jesus, just for that video? Just for that video. Oh, oh raw. Yeah, so if that's not in there, I'll be, I'll be very baff, very much confused. The last one I'm a bit iffy about is Mr. B's Squid Game. Because I remember that was big, but I don't know Mate, if it's gonna play. get in the top five. It might be a bit extreme. Jimmy? Hmm. Fair. Well, I'm actually not mad at myself anymore. <laughs> okay. I've gone Squid Game. Oh, cool. I know Squid Game was the most in 24 hours, mm. but I don't think it's been around long enough to get in the top five, but that's all I can think about. Okay. Squid I'm game. assuming Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast, yeah, Squid yeah. Game. I've done Gangnam Style. I've done Ouch Charlie. Mm. 
Yeah. That was huge. That was huge. Uh, and then the last two, I've just done Chocolate Rain. <laughs> chocolate Rain? <laughs> chocolate Rain. And I've done, um, this one I know isn't in there, but it's all I can think of is, uh, I, I think it's called like Bicycle Lanes. Is it Bike Lanes? Bicycle Casey Lanes? Nice, yeah. Yeah, that was big, yeah. I'm gonna do Bicycle Lanes, I don't know. All right, cool. Cool. Uh, Rem? Chocolate Rain. <laughs> that was sick. Um, I've gone Mr. Beast uh, Squid Game. I've gone another Mr. Beast one with that age game that he was played the other day, but it hasn't been around long enough, really. But I, I'm, this is when I'm talking, I'm grasping. Is it. that one one versus 100? Yeah. That yeah, I know one. which one you're talking about. Yeah. I'll just put one versus 100. Yeah. Um, the MJ Thriller music video. Yeah, that was quite big. Um, it's old, but I don't think it's gonna be up there. Top five. Um, Kanye West saying, George Bush does not like black people. This, can you tell how much I was struggling here? You're, you're saying some stuff though. <laughs> you're talking yeah, that yeah. shit. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, last one, X Games 2009 highlights. Winging it. That's Why 2009? That's specific, yeah. what happened in 2009? Yeah. Um, I just, for me personally, in my life, it was, I remember being at school and it just being- The only thing everyone the, was watching. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. it being really like, a, Thing that gassed me up, so I reckon. Oh, to be fair, you were BMXing around that time as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fair play, fair play, fair play. Right, number 10. It's called Learning Colors by Mirashaki TV with 4.91 billion views. Number nine with 4.96 billion views, Mark Runson, Uptown Funk. Oh, that would have been a good one. That would have been a good one. Damn, yeah, Uptown Funk, Mm -hmm. bro. Okay, number eight. Coco Lemon, 5.36 million, billion, sorry, Will's on the bus. Oh bro, Coco Lemon slaps on YouTube. Number seven, 5.36 as well, Choo Choo TV. Phonics with songs, with, son, phonics songs with two words. Yeah, these baby ones go, <laughs> go crazy on YouTube. Yeah. Number six, with 5.94 billion, Wiz Khalifa, see you again. Wow. Really? Wow. Yeah. That did numbers. After that fast, after yeah. My Man Died, was yeah. it Paul Walker? Paul yeah, Walker. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then that came on fast, whichever fast it was. Nine. Numbers. I remember that. Yeah. Numbers. Yeah. No. Right. Number five, with 6.02 billion views, Ed Sheeran, Shape of You. Fair. That's music videos. <laughs> They're isn't all going to be music, music videos. videos. That's <coughs> a so weird obvious. one. They're not. Just to. <laughs> all right. All right. All right just right, to right. seckle everyone. Just to seckle everybody. They're not. <laughs> Uh, number four, 6.26 billion views, Coco Lemon, Bath Song. Number three, 6.73 billion views, Lulu Kids, Johnny Johnny Yes Papa. Johnny Johnny Yes Papa, are you eating no Papa? <laughs> Something like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Telling lies, no Papa, open your mouth, ha ha ha. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <That's bro. it. laughs> I know about Johnny Johnny, bro. I'll say less. Johnny Johnny, <laughs> yes, papa. Yeah, bro. Eating cake, no papa. Telling lies, no papa. Open your mouth, ha ha ha. Yeah, bro, Johnny Johnny. That's jokes. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. All right, number two. With 8.2 billion views, uh, Despacito. Oh, wow, man. <sighs> yeah, makes sense. Oh, uh, yeah. And number one. It's gonna be Gangnam Style. It has to be. <laughs> With 13.01 billion views. Baby Shark do do oh, do. Baby Shark! Baby Shark do 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 do. Raw, baby Shark, I forgot about Baby Shark. So just to clarify, you guys got none, but we will go. So just to clarify, Gangnam Style was number 11. Oh, okay. 4.8. It has to be up there. has to be up there. So let me see, Gangnam, you got Gangnam Style. You both, both of them got Gangnam Style, so that's me up. You got Gangnam Style. Um, who's next? There's I'm rooting for you, bro. 12, Mash, Masher at the Bear. 13, uh, Dame to Cosita. Don't know what that is. 14, Axel F. 15, Sugar Maroon 5. 16, Raw Kate Perry. 17, music. One Republic, Counting Stars. Music. 18, All Music, bro. Coco music. Lemon, Baba Black Sheep. 19, Justin Bieber, Sorry. 20, Shakira, Waka Waka. Fucking hell. It's not gonna pattern, is it? Is it only, wait, so this is we, so we said it's all gonna be music. You said, no, it's not. Yeah, but that was, I said uh, 10, to, 10 to one, or oh, 10 to one isn't all music. I think I'm counting from 11 down because no yeah, one got yeah, anything. No, but in the original one. 10 to one is, um, 
Is it not? It is. Because even these, even these Coco Melon ones, they're all music. It's all, oh yeah, it's true. Music. Yeah, yeah, they are music. Johnny Johnny is music. I don't. When I say music, I don't think about it like that. But I get what you mean. But um, funny enough, I watched Mr. Beast's most recent video the other day. The yacht one. The no, that's not the most recent one. His most oh. recent one is the trains. He's got trains into a pit one. Oh right. Cool. And I saw obviously the views of what the Squid Game ones was, and it's 470 million. It's not hit a billion. Yeah, it's not going to be hitting a billion. It's, it's not hit a billion. Too, yeah, it's too recent. Um, I think his new one, his new one broke the record actually as well. What for most? I think second most viewed or whatever in, a day. in 24 hours. Yeah, yeah the yacht yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, the one yeah, versus yeah. one million dollar yacht. Maybe I think so. I think so. Yeah, that was came out maybe in the last month or so. Who did he try to beat? I saw. A clip I can't remember who someone, it was. I can't remember who's number one with most used in, in 24 hours. But yeah, he. I watched the clip of someone saying that he tried to obviously beat that person. But yeah, I can't remember who it was though. Oh, it's Gangnam Style. Oh, there you go. That is Gangnam right, Style. Tried to beat Gangnam Style. There. Yeah. Yeah, it's Gangnam Style. The fact that. Oh, Charlie Bitman got taken down, apparently. I've just seen it. Oh, really? So really? I've just checked on historical most viewed videos. Yeah. Um, progression of most YouTube videos, most viewed YouTube um, videos on YouTube. And it said Charlie bit me. And then it said it got taken down late July 2021 because it shows on a table. And it said the, the subhead says taken down. Oh, okay. That, that, that got taken down apparently. Oh, so that, that would have been in there or no? It got, no, it wouldn't have. It got 129, 128.9 million views. Oh, damn. Um, oh, that's shit yeah, to me, man. Got taken down. Damn, that's annoying. So um, I don't know what we do so here, to be honest. So is it just top 20 that you've got? Um, it only goes to, no, it goes to, sorry. It goes to 30, Mr. What, Beast. Why don't we pick one from our list? Mm. Wait, so what have you, so we've both got Squid Game, both got Ouch Charlie, both got Ganem Style. Okay. What have you got? I don't know, so Sneeze and Panda, Man at the Zoo. Me at the Zoo, those are the yeah, only two other ones. Yeah, you've got me at the zoo. You've yeah, got yeah, Bicycle I mean, Lane and I've got Bicycle Lane and Chuckle Lorraine. So, so let's, let's just yeah. pick who's got the highest views out of those four. My two and your two, which video has the highest views? And one of us will win. Yeah. So oh, me at the zoo has, is it by Jord? Is it an old school video? Some white guy in a zoo, literally yeah, some white guy in a zoo. One. That's the first uh, ever YouTube video. 280 million. Damn. Uh, Sneezing Panda. Yeah, so that's yeah. 17 million. Seven, yeah. 17. 17, cool. James was Chocolate Rain, original 16 years ago by Tay Zonday. Yeah, boy. 136 <laughs> million. 136 million yeah. versus what? His 280. 280. Yeah, and then bicy one. Bicycle lanes. I've never heard of that in my life. Casey Neistat. Uh, Casey Neistat. I don't know if it's called that, but it's his movie. It's either bike lanes or bicycle Bike lanes, lanes, bicycle lanes, something like yeah. that. By Casey Neistat. Mm. Oh, 12, 12 um, years ago. Uh, 29 M's. Okay. So Ellis won that one with 280. Hey, oh, let's yes. go, Ellis. By default, let's go. So that's three points to Ellis, finally. Let's go. Finally. Come on. So what, <sighs> three, six, nine? Yeah. I believe. Damn, yeah. you fine. I manifested that. Let's go, Ellis. GG's. Good awesome. game. I'm gonna give it to me one more time. Get low. Get low. <laughs> Do you know what I just thought of? when what? I was doing the top five, I was thinking of the South Park episode. Do you know when they do, there's loads of like YouTube classics in the episode. Yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah. go to like YouTube's H quarter. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, and there's all um, this. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, The panda's in there, isn't it? Yeah, the and panda's in Chocolate there. Rain's in there as well, Chocolate I think. Rain's in there. Sick. It's got the guy who's like, leave Britney alone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> that's jokes. <laughs> loads of stuff. Has he got the, um, the kid that's offended by uh, people offending him because he's ginger, sorry. Has it got him? What's that video? Does, does this, is that a whole completely separate oh, um, yeah. South Park episode? Bro, I don't know. Cartman acts like he is the kid who is, who's ginger and he's being offended. I don't think I've seen that one. Oh man, I don't know. Fair play. All right, cool, man. Well, well done, Ellis. Right, babies, let's take a real quick break. We need to keep the lights on. Yes, so today we're here with a sponsor for your bouncing bundle of joy. Come on. My God. <laughs> no, we're not talking about a baby. We're talking about your baby makers. Hey. Come on. That's right. Today's show is brought to you by Manscaped. But just like babies, your delicate little guys have sensitive skin and deserve products that are not only skin safe, but made with safe ingredients. That's where Manscaped's platinum package comes in. From razors to shower care, this package goes above the gold standard for your body hair. So treat your beautiful boys to the world's finest toys at manscaped.co.co, manscaped.com and use our very super duper 
exclusive never heard before code, which is SNG. Sierra November Gold. And that's going to get you a cheeky 20% off plus free shipping. One more time from the top. Head on over to manscaped.com. Use the code SNG. Sierra November Gold. 20% off and free shipping. Let's get back to the episode. Thank you very much. Um, right, I've got a thread for us. Just sweat drip down my balls. That's, down. That's a lot. So the sweat drips down my balls. Skate, skate, skate. <laughs> skate, skate, skate. Singing that to the top of our voices, you know. Yeah, we did. Bro, it. till the sweat drips, drips, drips down, down my, my balls. balls. <laughs> that's wild. Oh, talk. skate, 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 skate. Oh, skate, skate. <laughs> God damn. Banger. Yeah, that's a banger. Banger. Right. This thread, yeah, yeah. We've done um, similar ones before, yeah. So it's just kind of like a re-up. It's like a throwback episode, but it's um, it's resurfaced. Okay. Um, and some of the comments were too funny, bro. So pettiest reason to stop talking to a girl. Okay. So this one's resurfaced. We've definitely done this one before. Okay. okay. When she arrived at mine, she called her baby daddy to say she was safe. This is the thread I was gonna do. I think oh, was really? yes, let's run it back to back. All right, gang, 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 this is the one that made me laugh, bro. <laughs> she was shaking the table while cutting her steak. I will never forget. <laughs> bro, Jokes. that's disgusting. <laughs> Just- <clears throat> Jesus <clears throat> Christ. Yeah, Just yeah. Just hear the clinking of the glass. <laughs> <Yeah>. Nah, yuck. <laughs> uh, you got more? Go on, go on, go on. Sorry, bro. We'll yeah, go back yeah, to yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go back to back. Um, <laughs> she said teeths and feet. <laughs> bro, <laughs> that's buzz. Teeths and feet. That's buzz. Come on, man. These hurt my feet. <laughs> she didn't have any furniture in her apartment whatsoever. Damn, bro, fam. She took off her wi- <laughs> <laughs> She took off her wit. <laughs> she took off her wig to eat crab's legs. <laughs> She must have been dripping from a Bam. Dripping. That butter dip had her on the yeah, ropes. Yeah, that aioli. We got <laughs> drapes. That's too funny, bro. Oh, she didn't bless me when I sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. Oh. She asked me to talk normal and stop using such big words. Oh my God. Oh, Fam, my that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> She says she wants us to go somewhere exotic like Atlanta or Miami. <laughs> Atlanta! <laughs> oh, God. Oh. I'm sweating, bro. Oh. Fam, this one sweetened me. She had green earring backs. What? Green earring backs, bro. Oh. That's rusty. Oh, my God. That's rusty and covered in algae. I'm surprised her earlobe didn't fall off. Oh, bro, that's infection. Jeez, <laughs> she never combed her daughter's hair. <laughs> <laughs> that, oh. that's, that, that one right there is stuff I can't see. Oh, God. That's stuff that's I can't embarrassing. see, that's bro. That's embarrassing, bro. Oh my God, um, she didn't like water. I saw that one, red that's, flag. Man, that's a lot of women, you red know. Red flag. That's a lot of women, don't like water. This one, she squeezed my toothpaste in the middle like a damn savage. <laughs> that would jar me. That would jar oh me. Oh my God. Like a damn savage. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> this one, she kissed with her eyes open. <laughs> I literally, <laughs> literally just read that, bro. <laughs> Felt like she was gonna levitate. <laughs> she kissed with her oh. eyes open. Oh my days, bro, that's disgusting. Oh. Oh. Her, her walk by air wasn't pleasant. <laughs> Jesus. Raw. <Bro. laughs> <laughs> that's just that's disgusting, bro. Walk by her, air. What that after <laughs> the after, after with? Yeah. Her walk by air. <laughs> Fam, this one killed me. She had big gums and lowercase teeth. Lowercase. <laughs> Bro. That's a that's a piss take. Lowercase <laughs> consonant teeth. 
Her son bit me and she laughed it off. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe nah. That's nah. A, that, that right there. Because <laughs> kids don't know control. They don't. Oh, yeah. He would have broke the skin. Facts. 100% he would have broke the skin. You're laughing it off. Oh my God. Punish him. <laughs> uh, last one for me. So sweet in me. The smell of her weave gave me a stomach ache. That's. Yeah, that's not cool. The smell of the weave gave me a that's stomach cool. ache. I've, I'll do one more as well. She didn't have braids under her wig, just a James Brown perm. That's just crazy. hair on hair. Yeah, you just <laughs> just hair on hair. That's <laughs> stressful and disgusting. Inside of her microwave was dirty <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> That's the last one I'm gonna do. That's a telltale. <laughs> that oh, if your microwave is filthy. Bro, that glass door is just splattered. I can't trust yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, that's you put anything in there. in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. facts. Fucking hell. That's that was, disgusting. I love that you did that. Fam, thread. Thank that you. thread made me laugh. Oh, I, bro, I bellowed when I read that. Oh, Bellow. God. Oh, That's God. Jokes. Right. Remski. Trash news, oh, please, yeah. sir. Yo, let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. <clears throat> Subway offers free sandwiches for life um, contest if you legally change your name to, to Subway. Subway, right? I've seen this. Yeah, oh, bro, I have yeah. not seen this. American food chain uh, Subway has launched a free sandwiches for life contest for anyone willing to change their name to Subway. The sandwich company announced the start of their new competition this week uh, with a desirable Delhi hero prize. Uh, one fortuitous winner would le legally change their name to Subway, will be picked to get free stacked meat, double cheese subs for the rest of their life from August 1st to 4th. Any adult can go online, subwaynamechange.com. To enter the to enter and potentially win a lifetime of Delhi heroes, Subway's looking forward to uh, reward its biggest fan with free subs for life if they legally change their name. The announcement came on the company's website, um, and it read: Subway brand, the Subway brand loves and love and dedication runs deep, especially when free sandwiches are up for grabs. All fees associated with changing the winner's name will be covered by the company, but the winner must consent to a background check and provide company with uh, proof they changed their name with four months of being picked, then they will receive fifty thousand dollars in Subway gift cards. So it's not free Subway for life. No, it's not. It's just until once I spend fifty k. Fifty k worth of that's a lot. Of that's a lot. I'm of trying Subway. to think about it, how much subs we used to eat back at uni, yeah. and we definitely didn't clear fifty k. Yeah, no, we used there. to smash subs in no, uni. Yeah. At least say, two, three times a week. And she said Subway's your favorite, isn't it? Is it? Subway's your favorite. Yeah, if I if I was to pick like a takeaway. Yeah, Subway, man. Because it's so, yeah, no, Subway like that. It, as well, it doesn't make you feel like shit. It's just nice and Wait, fresh. It's like not. Subway's your number one it, favorite takeaway. Out of all the fast foods, chains and stuff, if I had to pick one, get rid of all, it'd be Subway. Because it's so versatile. Versatile. It's, just, it's banging. It's not, bro. What do you order? I get a different one every time. So you're like, a liar. Yeah, I do, you got a go to. You're a liar. Tell us your, you, tell us your go to, bro. If, I get, I get, if you're Italian, not a liar, then you're fucked up. What do you mean you get a different one every time? Not yeah. every time. No, I mean like I mix it up. So like I'll have an Italian BMT. I like that one. Yeah. I like tuna melt. Um, yeah. Meatball mariana, obviously. Yeah. Banging. Um, I've not actually tried the steak one, but I want to try it. Steak and cheese is nice. Steak and cheese is clean. I want to try it. Yeah, it's clean. Um, what other ones do I have? I can't remember. Some other ones. But my go-to are like meatball, tuna, or um, BLT. Yeah, BMT. BMT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a, um, I had a Subway the other day. I fucking hate Subway, man. I do as well. It's falling off, yeah, bro. It's, it's falling it's, off. It's, it's, it's falling way off. falling Fuck off. When we I don't know if it. they've changed the toasting method yeah. as well. That mm. shit just crumbles. Yeah. It just crumbles, yeah, bro. Yeah, Overheated. Yeah. yeah. Dry. But it depends on the bread as well. True. I only ever get hot um, Italian, not hot Italian. I, only ever, I, used, I used to get, get hot Italian. Italian. I, I, I started getting Italian now, Italian. bro. Italian. Fuck Subway, man. I love it. The cookies, cookies slap. Well. Yeah, yeah, the cookies, cookies fucking yeah, that's slap. A different, I'll that's give not them Subway, the, that's cookies. Yeah, 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 cookies. yeah, yeah. I'll give them the cookies, yeah. Yeah. but. The cookies are bang. Yeah, cookies But slap. yeah, those rainbow drawns. <laughs> yeah, they were nice. Yeah, yeah and the macadamia ones. Jesus, yeah, they slap, bro. But Subway as a as a as franchise a overall, I think it sucks. I used to love it when we were kids. Yeah, bang They've done something to the meatballs because that's not meat anymore. Oh damn! They done something to it. I had it a few years ago. That's not meat anymore. Mm. It is. They have they have a vegan alternative now. I bet they do. But it tastes the same. It's all the shit. Same shit. It tastes the same. Yeah, yeah. The vegan tastes like the real one. 
It's not do you me, bro. Do you remember when you had that Nando's rep? Bro, I was... Oh, yeah, you backed yeah. a vegan thing and it wasn't vegan. even... I didn't even know. Yeah. I'm gonna lie. It's, honestly, some I, of I it now is crazy. It made me think for a second, couple bites in, mm. but mm. until until Megan was like, someone's eating my vegan <laughs> my vegan wrap, who's got it? And I looked at the wrap, the, the label, which was tiny, by the way, Nando's fixed that. Um, yeah, I had no idea. So it, Damn. Yeah, the alternatives are real. Yeah. Nah, I'm not. I'm not on it, bro. That stuff like that scares me. Yeah, but if I'm saying if I put the two, the real and the fake, right next to each other, and you mm. you tried both of them, I'm not sure. No, nah, I believe you. All oh, right. I just it scares me because I'm like, what are you doing to it to make yeah. it taste exactly oh, yeah, like yeah, chicken? Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Some of it goes way too far. Like they're doing now. Um, when I worked in the kitchen, we had someone come in and pitch to us their vegan food, and mm. she was doing a 3D printed steak. 3D. What? Yeah, they're doing. So it's like you can have it medium rare and it's vegan but you can have it like they do like fake blood in it and shit it's like what oh the fuck, man? jesus it's weird as hell would you manny um what? this is oh yeah. this is a this is a good um this is a good question for what do you call it <clears throat> um ethics right this will test your ethics okay mm. yeah. would you um change over would you stop eating animal meat if they, uh, we had a similar conversation. If they started doing lab grown meat, would you change over to lab grown meat? No chance. Would I change over to lab, <coughs> lab grown meat? So the, the meat is exactly the same. But it's grown in a lab. It's grown in a lab. But, and the, the thing is, is that it doesn't need to be killed now. Mm. It's exactly the same steak. So a fillet of the mm. lab grown meat is exactly the same as a fillet of beef. Mm. It's still I would never beef. know the difference. You'd never know the difference. It's exactly the same. Mm. Is the protein content the same? The protein and the content is the same. Everything's the same. It's the DNA, they're using the DNA from cows to grow the flesh of a cow without actually having to grow a live animal that needs to be killed. It's just they're growing flesh. So it's like, same as if you needed like a heart transplant mm. and they were able to make you a new heart. It's mm. exactly the same as your heart. They take your DNA, they yeah. use the cells that needed and they create it and they put a heart in you. It's the same thing. So they would make lab grown meat. That's exactly the same. Mm. Um, it doesn't come from a real animal. This is a laboratory animal that they've made that never was alive. So ethically they've not had to kill anything. Yeah. And then would you switch over to that? Um, I'd probably do it for like a week. I wouldn't switch over permanently. I just know that for a fact. I just wouldn't. Why? I Why? You can't tell the difference. I know probably I would, the only reason I would know I, I would probably tell the difference is the pricing. I, I'm assuming the pricing will be higher. At first it will be higher, but then yeah. eventually once, once becomes, they mass produce it. Yeah, once it becomes normalized. Once it becomes normalized, this mm. is the swing, then real animals will become higher in price because mm. they'll be, uh, but then like, so let me ask everyone and then I'll, I'll say what I was gonna say. What would you do? I'd switch. You'll switch and then you'll switch back? I think I'll switch to try and I'll, probably end up switching back. What would you do? Yeah, I don't I don't think I would. Um I don't think I would. So you stay with without animals. context, if they just replaced all meat without saying anything, cool. Mm. But like just knowing that it's growing in a lab, it just freaks me out a bit. It, so what would you say when the protesters mm. are stopping you in the street mm. and they're like you would rather actually kill stuff yeah, yeah. Mm. just for just yeah. because you're like, oh, it makes me feel a I mean, bit weird. I personally wouldn't kill stuff. I wouldn't kill it, but I would no. Just... But I'm saying, like, yeah. if you, the only reason animals are now getting yeah. killed in mm. this scenario, bear in mind, I haven't given my opinion. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, I'm playing devil's advocate. <laughs> okay. I'm, playing, okay. I'm, not, I'm not judging you. <laughs> okay. I'm yeah. just saying what Twitter would say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you then in this scenario now mm. you are the only now the only reason animals are getting killed mm. because in this dystopian world. We have the facilities now to completely mm. eradicate killing animals. Okay. We have meat, mm -hmm. it's exactly the same. Mm -hmm. And the yeah. only reason we are now killing animals and taking their lives away and taking babies from their mums and mums from their babies is because you, man, feel a bit uncomfortable about lab grown yeah. shit. Yeah, I mean, I would say it's not natural, but I know they would say it's not natural the way we do stuff in the meat industry. But I don't know, I just don't like the thought of, it's just, it's really not natural. It's going the fucking completely the other way. Like, it's just, it's not meat, is it? it you might say it is, but it's not. I'm it's, with Ellis, bro. It's, I don't know. Mentally, I think me mentally it will yeah. fuck with me. It's a mentally thing. If they, like I said, if they just did it, if they just said, you know, oh, we're replacing. No, if they didn't say it, so if they yeah, just yeah, replaced yeah. all meat, right. cool. Like, I'll have it. But I think it's just knowing that it's going in a lab, mm. it'll just make me feel uneasy. Cool. I'd probably go vegan. Oh like, really? I'd probably go vegan if if they were if they said like all meat now mm. artificial. I'd be like fuck that. Right. I'll really? That's yeah, really fascinating. Yeah, because mm. yeah, I would. 
That's very interesting. What about you? I agree. I wouldn't go you vegan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't go vegan. If they got rid of... Yeah, but uh, uh, in the scenario of like, if they got... If they took away all uh, meat mm. from an actual animal and said, it's all being replaced now from a lab to a lab, grown meat. I would you? Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd have to just charge it in further. Yeah. I wouldn't go vegan, my bro. I'm not lying <laughs> well, to anyone you'd here. You'd have to, because you're not well, eating meat anymore. Now he's saying he well, had a lab grown stuff. No, I'm saying I would have charge it. I wouldn't go vegan. I wouldn't go vegan. I'd just charge <clears> it. <throat> but mentally, I think <clears> it would it would have a it would take a toll on me for a little bit, and then I'd just probably get over mm, it. Fair. fair. Well, what's your answer? I would go lab grown, hundred percent. I don't think it would bother me in the slightest. Obviously, the first time, I'd be a bit like, "Ooh, this is weird." But then immediately, as long as it tastes the same, texture the same, everything the same, it it genuinely wouldn't bother me. Mm, Fair enough. And yeah, it's, it's like. Yeah, it wouldn't bother me at all. Fair play. Fair enough. Yeah. I think it's a psyche thing, but yeah, yeah. it is a psyche yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, but then I think like this, these things like because I always get uh, interested when it's uh, when it comes to the whole like, oh, this is um, weird. Or it's not normal. It's not natural, and all those mm. kind of things. And I think about there's a million things that happen in everyday life that's not natural. Mm. Yeah, like, I know. If you yeah. take a look I at know. fucking twins, a lot of, like identical twins are when like there was one egg. <sighs> And like the sperm went in and then somewhere along the line, the shit split in two. And now you have two things that are exactly the same. One of these drawings ain't real, bro. <laughs> One of these fuckers ain't real, bro. <laughs> it's not natural, bro. I, One of these you, motherfuckers ain't yeah, real. When you deep it like that, where, yeah. But uh, we just get on with yeah, it. Yeah, we just accept it. We see it. two people that look exactly the same. We accept it. And we charge it. Yeah, yeah. One yeah. of those fuckers ain't real. <laughs> They're real fans. Nah, they're real, bro. <laughs> That's not natural. Yeah, one's a prototype. Yeah, bro, one's an accident. <laughs> Alpha and a beta. Yeah, yeah, facts, bro. One of them, because like one of these twins was the original. Bro. Yeah, right. one is missing, one has less sighting. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It's exactly the same yeah. as if like I had magical powers and I just grabbed your arm off you <laughs> and then threw it on the floor and it grew into another foo hat. <laughs> it's exactly the same, bro. <laughs> and then your arm grew back. And they were like, which everyone would be like, this motherfucker ain't real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then everyone would be on my side. They'd say, mm. this fucker ain't real. Mm, mm. Because it happens in, in, in Tom. <laughs> in vitro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it happens in vitro, bro. We're supposed to firm it. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, it, it's, it's, it's a fascinating, it's fascinating. Because yeah, I genuinely is, yeah. think it's, because do, it they are doing it. Yeah. They're doing they? lab-grown, lab-grown meat's a yeah, thing. They're doing lab-grown meat. So eventually it's going to happen. And, and then good. eventually there will be a small subsection of society that are like, nah, I want to, have animals yeah, and everyone's gonna yeah. be like, what the fuck? Yeah. There's gonna be riots. Yeah, oh bro, be oh, riots. there's gonna yeah. be the, the, world- the Especially in America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the there's gonna be, be worldwide like upset mm. for these like 10% of sick fucks mm. that are willing to pay 200 pound for a real steak. Yeah, see, if, when it gets to stupid stuff like that, I'm obviously gonna eat the lab shit, yeah. you know what I mean, but. So you, freak, then, you freaked me out that time when you said, obviously I think we debunked it, when you said broccoli was grown. Oh yeah, yeah, in, yeah. In like yeah, a lab yeah, and I was like, what? Cause I love yeah. broccoli. I was like, I don't wanna fucking. But luckily it was-, it was Why does the lab stuff bother you though? It just freaks me out, man. It's not- Bro, if we were actually to watch the documentaries about just animal meat in general- Oh, oh yeah. That's, that that's would, worse than lab, that, bro. Yeah, yeah, that would be worse than lab, yeah. bro. That I will can't send watch you loopy. Like yeah, bro. These, I promise you. These, I didn't watch these spirits. These, um, like yeah. cows, in order to get cow's milk- Oh, you know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah they yeah, have yeah. to think they're pregnant. So they inject them with hormones every day that make them think they're pregnant. Yeah, That's the only reason they're able to milk cows. Say swear. I never yes, thought bro. about it that way, but it makes perfect sense. Why would the cow keep producing milk? Yeah, like yeah. A cow, a cow is like a human, bro. It only, it, o- yeah, it only produces Yo, we milk. we need to stop, stop, stop. Move on, move on, because I, I want to eat meat. Pause, 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 pause. I need to eat my chicken, my meat, some my I'll you some meat right yeah. here, bro. <laughs> hey, stop it. <laughs> ah, yeah, fuck with me. Um, <laughs> Back to the subway thing, jargons. Jargons. Yeah, no one's changing it. Any yeah. man that's willing to legally change their name for that is mad. Nah, for 50 you bags. say that uh, there's some uh, professional boxer chick who's willing to do it, she said on her Instagram, if she gets 40,000 likes. So she's down horrendously, clearly. She's doing this for likes? <laughs> what? Yeah, 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 yeah. A female boxer is doing this for likes? Yep, 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 let me find. Give me 40,000 likes and I'll do it. Yeah, what are these likes gonna get you, bro? Boxer Stevie uh, Levy um, uh, post social media challenge to change the name to Subway uh, for free sandwich promotion. She says she'll change her name to Subway if post reaches 40,000 likes on Instagram. Jesus there Christ, man. That's, That's what you call being down horrendously. Bro, she's down bad. I mean, she's got the bat signal on her chest, yeah. so yeah, she's been down she's, bad, bro. She's been down horrifically. Um, but yeah, that's that. Wow. Yeah, that's tough. 
She's 30 as well. She's on her way out. She yeah, needs she the is. likes. Yeah. She does need the She's, likes, boy. Yeah. I was going to say a thousand likes and I'll legit do it, but my mate has advised me to make it 40,000 um, because it's unlikely. <laughs> oh, Jesus, man. Jesus Christ, indeed. Get a life. Mm. Seriously. Cool, man. Um, you wanted to read something to us. Yes, sir. Confession time slash fetish. So I've been going to the gym for around eight years now and I have achieved a, phys I have achieved a physique that tends to attract a lot of women. The thing is, I strictly date women who weighs more than, more or less 250 pounds. What's hmm? that in kg? Or, 250 pounds, like 100 and... That's up. That's like 120 kg, bro. Yeah. 120 yeah, kg. I'm about half it, yeah. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. So I'll read that bit again. The thing is, I strictly date women who weigh more or less 250 pounds, fatties in general. I try to make the relationship last around two months before she feels comfortable enough to start going to the, uh, to start working out with me. Don't get me wrong. I generally spend time with them, buy them nice things, make them feel loved, but my sole intention is to get them to come to the gym with me. This could go on for months, up until the point where she actually loses weight and starts to attract other guys. I have helped some women lose so much weight that they end up cheating on me with their own, with their newfound boosted confidence, which is, um, which is really what I was hoping to, so which is really what I'm hoping would happen 100% of the time. My goal is for them to get attractive and leave me so that I can move on to the next fatty and make her lose weight. <laughs> am God. I out here doing God's work or am I going to hell? I'm genuinely curious. Whoa. Yeah. So long story short, he dates fat girls for the sole purpose of them going, finally going to the gym with him, them starting to lose weight, them starting to gain confidence, and eventually cheating on him, leaving him so he can move on to the next fatty. But That's... he enjoys that. He enjoyed this. Yeah. Fam, he said confession time slash fetish. He loves this. Man said, I'm a sick fuck. I like a sick fuck. fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's his face. is kink, my bro. He loves Damn. downsizing bitches. This guy's like a Batman villain. Yeah, bro. This, is he doing God's work or is he going to hell? Thoughts? Um, I mean, I mean, if we're, if we're hey, I don't want to be this guy. With all due respect. With all due respect. They're willing to go gym. He ain't forcing no one to do nothing. Okay. So he's clearly attracted to these women because mm -hmm. he's banging them. Mm -hmm. he's, he's clearly attracted to them at their current state. Mm -hmm. He doesn't find them unattractive. Mm -hmm. He's not shaming them in any way. Mm -hmm. He likes them. Mm -hmm. He's manipulative yeah. mm -hmm. and extremely as a sicko mm -hmm. um but bro it sounds like they're choosing to go gym and if they choose to go gym and they like it and then they lose all this weight like being with someone for two months mm. and then deciding like two months is not long enough to decide to completely change your life yeah and like yeah, lose yeah, yeah. a hundred pounds yeah, yeah, yeah like that's not enough so I think in his own, I think his intentions, if we're speaking purely actions versus intentions, his intentions are gonna send him to hell. Yeah. Because his intention is to force someone to fall in love with them. Yeah. And get them to do something that wasn't their idea to do. Mm. Uh, and they're only doing it based on their emotion with him. I'm pretty sure that is a form of trafficking. If what I heard about when Andrew Tate was getting in trouble for the human trafficking stuff, I think a lot of it was him saying his plan to make girls become cam girls was that he would date them, make them fall in love with him. Oh, wow. And then tell them, oh, I've got this business. I think you'd be really good at it. And because they were in love with him, they would agree to do it. But and, they would and they would become cam girls. So, oh, wow. Is that what he got in yeah. trouble for? So, so I, I don't know if that's the whole story. I'm sure yeah. it got done for a lot, but there was a thing when he was getting accused of, um, like human sex trafficking yeah, girls, yeah, human yeah, trafficking yeah, girls. Yeah. He was like, obviously not, obviously not, obviously not. And then one of the things that got pulled up was a paragraph um, from his like website mm. where he said, this was the plan I'd use. And they would say, it's called like, um, it's called like pretty boy or like Prince Charming or this is like a type of thing for it, mm. um, where it is a form of trafficking. Wow. Yes, it's dark. Yeah, yeah. That sounds Hella dark. very, very dark. Bro, so um, under that pretense, this is like a similar format mm. is that like, 
I want this girl to do this. Mm. So in order to do that, I'm going to approach her, date her, make her fall in love with me, and then get her to do this thing. Mm. Even though I'm quote unquote doing this for her. Um, yeah, it's fucked up. It's hella fucked up. That is fucked up. I, had to, I read it, I was like, damn. Yeah. That is, a, that is a fetish. It's a crazy, it's a crazy, crazy fetish. fetish. Mm. Um, but I'm hoping there's a significant percentage of them that's like, I'm cool, bro, I don't wanna go gym. Facts. Hopefully that's the case. He doesn't Facts. seem to be talking about them once. I wonder what happens then. He just locks them off. Yeah, I guess away. he just moves on. Mm. Mad. Damn. Mad. Damn. But yeah, I had to read that out. All right, fair play. Right, we got a dilemma to finish, yeah? Yes, sir. How to tell your husband you lost 350,000 pounds? Jesus. I've been married to my husband for 20 years. We have a good marriage. Here's the context of him. He's very stingy with his money. He's very money orientated. I'd rather slit his wrists than give than give money away or spend money on things. He let me control the bank accounts and all the money and I started investing um, in the stock market and lost the money. I tried invest um, I tried investing back in to try and recoup my losses and paid for teachers and courses. Anyways, time goes on and before I know it, I've lost 350k. He has no idea. If I tell him, he'd probably divorce me. It's been over a year and he has no idea. He regularly asks for bank statements to see his money, to see um, his money is there, but I'm a wizard with the computers, so I make them myself and he's none the wiser. Jesus. I don't sleep, I don't eat. <laughs> and he's going to find out as soon as he wants, he's going to find out as he wants to move somewhere and I have no idea how I'm going to get that money back. What do I do? I feel like I'm drowning. Please, please help me. Fucking drown. That's my, that's my advice. Damn. Sharp and drown, bro. Bro. Face the music. I don't eat. I don't sleep. <laughs> Over a year is a piss take. Fam. If you've, if you've swindled all my money and you've been swindling me for a year and not telling me, and I've been asking you bank statements, this bank statements, that, and you're just- You're lying to me? them. Frauding me? Yeah, we would, I would take you to court. Yeah. <laughs> and then I will take everything else you have. Yeah, facts, bro. Because you can't, you just can't do that. Yeah, like the thing is, this it's, it's a stupid thing. Like, obviously she loves Donny, but yeah. like, you lost my money once. You should have told me. Facts. You then lost it again. Mm. Should have told me. You shouldn't have even had the opportunity to lose it again. Cause I should have come in there and been like, turns out you don't know what you're doing. Facts. And that's let's, fine. Let's stop all it. You tried yeah, yeah, yeah. and you failed. I love you for trying, yeah. but you fucked it. Never again with my money. Yeah, 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 yeah. but we're okay. Yeah. I love you for trying, we're okay. Yeah. You bottled it. But no, she doubled down, she doubled down like an addict <laughs> and got courses and teachers on the stock exchange, which is a hustle mm. in itself and lost 350 bags. You deserve to get divorced. 100%. I'm sorry, drown then, innit? 100%, there's no if, buts, or maybes. Yeah, there's, there's not, yeah, That's, just face the music. Regardless of whatever percentage of um, richness you are in the world, that is a significant amount of money. 100%. To any human being on this planet. 100%. 350,000 pounds. Yes, it's, it's, it's too much, bro. It's too much. It's too much money. You to can't. Lose. You can't count to that number, bro. Do you know what I mean? Hundred. You can't count to that number. Yeah, literally, bro. It's, it's it's game over. I'm sorry. It's game over. Like you're done. You're done in this house. Facts. Facts. Three fifty. And I, I want to move somewhere. And now I'm gonna find out that I can't. I wouldn't know how to. I wouldn't know how to tell my family that my life is over because of my ex wife. Oh, bro. Do you know what I mean? She stole all my money. Invested it without my consent. I've got nothing. And lost, I've got lost nothing everything. Left. I've got no pockets. <laughs> she took everything. She literally took everything and she said she was doing me a favor. Wow. Yeah, that's long. Wow. That's long. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's that. That is that. All right, guys. Thank you very much for today. That was yeah, juicy. Was. Um, we had some highs. We had some lows. We had some deeps. We had some shallows. Um, as always, head on over to patreon.com for slash and We've got juicy stuff coming up. Yes, sir. Um, and yeah, love, love, love. Gang, gang, gang. <laughs>